Did you know that Lissabay have not always owned all of their attractions? One example of this is Rainbow. Keep watching to find out more about Rainbow, who first bought it, because it wasn't Lissabay, and the tragic end of the attraction in 2008. Many of you have great memories of the attraction Rainbow. In 1983, Lisebay celebrated 60 years as a park, and with that, the opening of a brand new ride. Thankfully, Lisebay have saved a picture of the flyer that was used to promote this. I absolutely love this flyer. Gunnar Månsson AB was the company that actually bought Rainbow to Lisebay. This was something that was very common for Lisebay's early days. Gunnar Månsson AB bought the attractions and rented a spot in the park to operate their ride. This is one of the last rides that Gunnar Månsson AB actually bought for Lisebay. From that moment, Lisebay bought all of them themselves. Rainbow replaced the old ride Enterprise, not at the same spot though. For those of you that may not know, Rainbow was located close to the south entrance and was some kind of signature piece when arriving to the park. I will never forget the sound and feeling when arriving to Lisebay seeing Rainbow. Rainbow was a thrill ride manufactured by Hus. Hus is a German attraction producer. I managed to get a hold of a really cool drawing of Rainbow. This particular ride was produced by Hus from 1982 until the year 2000. The Rainbow model should not be mixed up with Alibaba or 1001 Nachts, because they are pretty different from this ride. The Rainbow at Lisebay was from the beginning no different at all from the other Rainbows built around the world. But later on, Lisebay would repaint and theme it more to the park. I guess that this was done after Lisebay bought the ride from Gunnar Monson AB. The ride itself is pretty simple, but oh, so much fun. A vertical couch spins around the long arm with six rotates per minute. The ride suddenly stops on the top and goes then the opposite direction. The view from the ride was great and it was so much fun to ride and it was also really enjoying to look at this ride. I have really tried to find pictures and movies from Rainbow but as with other older rides from Lisebay it is hard to get a hold of. What I think I have figured out though is that Rainbow have had three different colors. When it opened in 1983, Rainbow was white with pink flowers and had a big sun in the middle. Rainbow turned 10 in 1993 and in the picture you can see that the ride is now pink and themed to Lisebay with the logo and a Lisebay bunny. This is my favorite version of Rainbow. I have not been able to find out when Rainbow turned blue, but when it did, the Lisebay logo with the bunny was removed and the sun was back. This was the last shape of a rainbow and it looked like this until the tragic end. On July 15, 2008, rainbow was fully loaded and set off on its last ever ride. Something inside the ride broke and the couch was tilted to the side and slammed into the ground. 36 people had to be taken to the hospital, some with pretty serious injuries. Everyone survived the crash. How could this happen? Lisebay does inspections of their rides every day and night. The logs shows that this was perfectly done also for Rainbow. The following information is taken from official documents and is the official reason why the accident on Rainbow happened. Warning, this will for some of you sound like gibberish. Hang on though, I will do my absolute best to summarize it in the end. At the first inspection after the crash, it was found that the gondola had deviated from its horizontal position. 
The horizontal position of the gondola is controlled by a gear in the center of rotation of the attraction, and a corresponding gear connected to the gondola and a drive shaft connecting in between. These two gears could be inspected through hatches in the attraction, which was also done daily. After some disassembling, it was found that there was no visual damage to any of the gears. Since no cause of the accident was found in this first inspection, it was decided to disassemble the attraction even more. It was also decided to cut a hole in the attraction to be able to inspect the drive shaft properly. During this assembly, it was found that the drive shaft had a break in the connection with the gondola gear. The exact position of the fracture is in the weld that connects the drive shaft fitting to a connection which in turn has a pinjon gear working against the large gear. This fractured drive shaft resulted in that the gondola deviated from its horizontal position and therefore crashed into the ground. In English, a metal rod that is crucial for the couch being horizontal all the time broke. This resulted in a tilt of the couch and the couch slammed into the ground. Some of you may be thinking, why did Lisebay not see this coming? It is not that simple. This drive shaft is not something that could be inspected by Lisebay. Instead, the manufacturer, Hus, had a drive time limit for this part. The gondola arm and the built in drive shaft had a recommended maximum runtime of 5000 hours. Have in mind though that if Hus recommends 5000 hours, you could probably run way longer without anything happening to the ride. In Rainbow's case, this part had only been running 3500 hours. The fracture was a pure manufacturing issue with the drive shaft from Hus. The inspections of the ride was perfectly done by Lisebay. The ride operator at the time of the accident did an awesome job, stopping the ride immediately, calling SOS and then helping injured people. As I already mentioned, luckily there was no fatalities and most people recovered fast from the accident. Rainbow was a fantastic ride and this video is for everyone affected by the accident. Both riders, standby, TV watchers and Lise Barriere. You are all amazing. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the Fun fact about Rainbow, when the inspections after the accident was done, the ride was dismantled and scrapped, or almost scrapped, because some parts were actually saved. The sun was recycled into a prop used in the haunted house Spökotellet Gasten. Rainbow is a very missed ride, and I would love to see something similar for the park in the future. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. And also, why don't you wish for the next video? Cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to. My friends think I'm lame. Since I met you, I am not the same. It was not meant to be a fairy tale with a happy How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them